Millions of taxpayer dollars have been set aside to expand the Port of Mobile. It's one of many projects providing an economic boost to Alabama's Gulf Coast and the entire state. Political reporter Aaron Davis is joining us live tonight. Aaron, you spoke with the port's director, John Driscoll, about this project. Tell us more. I did, Mark. The Port of Mobile is on track to be the deepest seaport on the Gulf Coast. Alabamians are paying for it with tax dollars, but Driscoll tells me there will be plenty of return. The port uh, contributes 300, over 313,000 jobs to the state in 2021. Director of the Port of Mobile, John Driscoll, says he expects those numbers to increase with recent investments, one being up to $150 million from Alabama's gas tax to widen and deepen the port to accommodate larger ships. It really just increases the efficiency of cargo. On the container side of the business, we'll be able to handle the largest ships that come through the Panama Canal. The project is on schedule and below budget. It should be up in operational depth and width by the first quarter of 2025. During the 2023 regular legislative session, lawmakers allocated $20 million from the state's general fund budget to improve the McDuffie Coal Terminal. Our biggest customer is investing into a new mine in the, in the Tuscaloosa area to where they're investing almost a uh, billion dollars. So we're spending this money that the state uh, has, a, has appointed for us to be able to be prepared and handle that, and we want to be the most efficient. As the port expands, Driscoll says job opportunities around the state will continue to be created. The Alabama State Port Authority is your port as, uh, as somebody who lives in the state. Driscoll tells me they also visit universities across Alabama to learn about new innovations to improve the port and its businesses. Mark? Aaron, thank you. It's good news, and those upgrades to the port are expected to be finished by 2025.